Welcome everybody to episode 53 of Multiplayer, the podcast by gamers for gamers. I am one of your hosts, Zach Mapscanis, alongside Mr. Javier Ortiz. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, I can't complain. Just another day. I mean, you could complain. I could, but I won't. You could complain about how hot it is in this room. I don't complain. I'm not that kind of person. Never. How dare you, sir? Nope. Not a baby. <laughs> I'm man up. Do not forget we are all over the place, in your ears and in your face. We are on YouTube yep. and all of your favorite podcast services. Ooh. So check out all of those services, every last one of them. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash multiplayer where you can throw us. I'm going to go with clams again clams. because we're going to talk about some... some Clam related uh, things. Yeah, some clam related <laughs> things within video games so makes sense you can throw us a uh, couple clams and you get some sweet bonus episodes every month and it is a good time over there yeah. so check out all of that fun stuff but javier yep we have a decent show today decent it's decent it's okay so just so I'm everyone's aware about. we we are filming this right on the cusp of gamescom yeah so we're gonna do this show and then probably in about two hours there's gonna be like everything twelve is, giant yeah. announcements. Yep. We're gonna get just everything and it's like, well, all right, well, that <laughs> sucks. Just <laughs> <should> redo it. <laughs> but we have a couple fun things to talk about. Yeah. A couple not so fun things to talk about. I know about. one thing you're really excited about. I so I, I wanna have a, it's a new new segment, it's called The Moment of excitement. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good where, name. That's a good name. Yeah, right? I, like I, I thought so. Yeah. So here's my moment of excitement where I'm just like, oh, God! Oh. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, moment of excitement over. Okay. Let me discuss what I'm excited about. You should get to that. <laughs> I probably should. Okay, so finally, 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 yeah. in the news, there is some some rumbles and some talks, some talking about time splitters again. Oh, oh boy! Blast from the past. Yes, dude. It's been a what, while. what year is it? <laughs> it it's been. A, God, when was the last? When was the last one released? Oh shoot! I think two thousand and five. Yeah. God, cause something, I don't, something right in the there. The last time I remember time splitters being relevant was when GameCube oh, yeah. was out. Because I mean that was that. Uh, yeah. They did. So actually. Uh, so, like, Time Splitters 1 was, it was a PS2 exclusive that came mm -hmm. out pretty early on in the PlayStation life cycle, and then 2 and 3 were on all three consoles at the time. Right. And I was a GameCube kid, yes, and, uh, and I was like, oh man, a really sweet, like, multiplayer game uh, for, for GameCube. Yeah. So I just, I picked up oh, the... the FPS. Uh, oh, FPS multiplayer game. Yeah, so, man, I couldn't tell you how many hours I put in the 2 and 3. Actually, yeah. I probably could tell you. It was a lot. <laughs> a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was probably... I probably had more hours in, in that game at the time than anything else I'd ever played. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because, like, I would play through the story, uh, like the campaign mode, mm -hmm. and then I would play through the campaign mode with a couple different friends because it you can play it two-player, yeah. like two-player uh, split-screen. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun, and you're just goofing around being stupid. Yeah. And, but most of my hours came into the the multiplayer for those games yeah. it was just it was it was just unbelievable like you could just you could set up these crazy games on these like crazy levels mm -hmm. <laughs> where you're just like uh with the most like insane characters so it's like okay so you know you're in the jungle uh like vietnam yeah. uh jungle <laughs> And, you know, you're playing with a team of, like, or you're playing, like, Capture the Flag or, like, Team yeah. Deathmatch or something. And you got Gingerbread Man on your team. You got, uh, you got a big duck man. Yeah, you got, duck man. <laughs> you got a monkey or two. Yeah, I remember the monkey. Yeah, there's Ninja Monkey. There's Cyborg Monkey. Yeah. There's a zombie on your team. Yeah. There's just... The Skeleton Man. Yeah, like... It was just bananas. Like, what is going on in this yeah. game? That was my it's... fondest memory of that game were the wacky, and when I say wacky, I do mean wacky characters. Because oh, yeah. it was just, it, it made no sense. Like, the monkey with the stick man or the skeleton man. Yeah. And then the gingerbread man. I remember that vague, the, I remember that vividly, the gingerbread man, because I kept thinking about Shrek. Yeah. The little gingerbread <laughs> guy. But yeah, that game, I remember that game. I, I never owned it. A friend of mine owned it. And we always played the multiplayer whenever he would come over. And it was just... It, my my only experience to FPS multiplayer at that point had been Goldeneye yeah. and like Banjo Tooie. Yeah. And so I was like, oh my god, this is even crazier than than and you know Banjo Tooie is a weird game, but like yes. this game is even, it's so <laughs> bizarre. Like I don't even know what's happening. Like why are all these characters in the same 
place. <laughs> because why not? Like yeah. That, that game just went f just above and beyond just nonsense. Yeah, like, no, it really did. My favorite character to play, um, and this is in Time Splitters 3, his name was Mr. Flesh Cage, and Ooh. he was literally just, like, he's just a big stick-bodied man with just, like, just flesh hanging off oh, of it. Oh, God. And so weird. You would select them, and he would go sticks and stones. There are my bones. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a weird like. It's who thinks of that? Just nonsense. People. Yeah, no nonsense. People. So, I want to I want to give you a little history about time splitters. Yes, please do and so because I'm so, not too familiar. Yeah, and you know I I think there's a lot of people out there, especially in, like newer generations of people that grew up, um, kind of like you know sort of starting with like the 360 and stuff because mm -hmm. we're getting to that time now where it's just like. Kids are growing up with like yeah, it's like, their first console. Yeah, it's man, it's crazy. It's weird. <laughs> but so for the people that don't know this game, it it was like I said, all all three games were for, uh, uh, for like GameCube, Xbox, and PlayStation Two. Mm -hmm. um, the the team Free Radical uh, Free Radical Design they developed uh, the game. Right. Now the reason why it was so zany. So goofy, and the reason why, like maybe you clicked with it to a certain extent, was it's the same guys that did Goldeneye and Perfect Dark and Banjo that Tooie. Makes sense. It's the same guys. So really, yeah. So wow. Free Radical Design, uh, that core team, a lot of those dudes came from Rare. Uh, yeah. So that makes they, a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. So that they, makes a ton uh, of sense. there's just Rare blood in the yeah. free radical pool <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah so um so it, you know it has that british charm and and that uh just that just hardcore love of like fps games so, yeah, yeah yeah so you know they developed those games and uh you know they they got you know good reviews and stuff they did mm -hmm. decent sales wise it never it was never as hardcore as like something like halo like, it didn't find that... Yeah, no, this wasn't... A, like It's not like an exclusive thing where, you know, this is the face of GameCube or something, yeah. you know? But it was, you know, it was one of those games where it's like, if you remember that game, you probably loved that game. Yeah, good memories. And, yeah, so many, so many good memories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially, like, because you could build your own maps and stuff in it, too. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you could, you could make some crazy stuff in that game. Pretty innovative. And, uh, and so... Um, yeah, so many good memories, dude. I, like, I could literally talk about that all yeah. day, but I won't. <laughs> Save it for another time. Sure. But, so af after those games, they, uh, uh, the, the Free Radical design team decided to they, uh, take on two new um, IPs for them. Uh, well, one, a new IP, one not a new IP. So they got the rights to make Battlefront Three. Oh, okay. So they were working on that from, I think it was 2006 to 2008. But they were also making a uh, PS3 exclusive FPS game called Haze, which oh, did come out. Oh, I um, heard of that game. So basically, what happened was they uh, they they had a couple rough years where Haze came out and it didn't do hot yeah. at all. It was like in that time, right when the PS3 was out, where nobody bought a PS3 because it was like nine thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, and. And the game wasn't very remarkable. You know, it was a very just bland game for sure. the most part. I, I played a little bit of it, and I was like, meh. <laughs> yeah, I only remember hearing, I remember hearing about it, and I remember walking to GameStop and always seeing it, like, in a used rack. Yeah. But I never got it. For, like, a nickel. <laughs> yeah. It was, one, it was definitely one of those, uh, like, $20, $10 games. Yeah. yeah. So it's just... Yeah, it so it came out to very unremarkable responses and right. pretty meh rating for the most part, and and then Battlefront Three, I don't know why, but it was canceled. It was uh, not by Free Radical. It was just it, it got canned by by Lucas Arts, hmm. and the game was ninety nine percent done. Like that comes right out of the mouth <laughs> of the Free Radical guys. Like that game yeah. was ninety nine percent done. Sure I hate it when that happens. Yeah, and man, I would have. Love to see a free radical well, of battlefront course. game, like, especially after the it's... after Battlefront Two, which is just beloved <laughs> by literally everyone. Yeah. yeah, so it would have been cool to see what they would have done with, yeah, that, with the IP, and uh, you know, it's a shame we'll never get to see that. I'm, I'm sure somebody out there is trying to save 
that game. Because, you know, you got those people trying to save these, like, almost yeah. completed titles and, and stuff like that. So I hope one day we see a little footage from that. It's like uh, top ten games that never got never got released. Yeah. Like that. Mega Man Legends 3. That's up there. Oh. I mean, that's... Man. That's a whole nother can. <laughs> yeah. We won't get into that. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, so basically after those games, you know... Uh, after, after those problems, the company went under. And uh, and then Crytek picked them up. Now, when Crytek picked them up, I was, like, super ecstatic, where I was just like, yo, if they can now make... They, basically, Free Radical became Crytek UK. Okay. And so I was like, yo, if they can make Time Splitters 4 with the Crytek... Like, the... Uh, no, what is it? The... Oh, I guess it's just the Crytek engine. They might call it something else. I can't remember. But it's, like, their, their engine they developed for games, like... Crisis and Far Cry and all Ooh. those games. So I was like, man, that would, that be, would cool. be awesome. Yeah. So you know, I was excited for a minute because they kind of they basically kept the team intact and just rebranded them as Crytek UK. And then all that Crytek stuff happened where they weren't paying employees. Yeah. And like all this night, like I don't know what happened with Crytek, yeah. but it was like a whole thing, and th- no game was ever made with yeah. Crytek UK. They started making Homefront, okay. And uh, and then Homefront, that like it was having like a rocky development cycle, right? Because of all that stuff going on, and then that um, then the IP and all that stuff got bought by Koch. It's either Koch or Coach Media. I don't know how to pronounce it. K O C H. I think it's Koch. So they got picked up by Koch Media or Coach. Media. Whatever. Yeah. I, I'm going to go with Koch on this one. Sure. <laughs> so Koch Media picked them up. So, um, uh, And then they finished that game under uh, their new uh, name. Shoot, I already forgot them. Koch um, Media? No, no, there's a... Uh, or what replaced? Yeah. Koch Media. So, no, so Koch Media picked them up. They're just oh, like... They, oh, okay, gotcha. So... And Koch Media also, that's kind of the parent company to Deep Silver. Right. Um, if you know those guys. I don't. Uh, this is getting so, <laughs> so confusing. I know, right? Uh, Deep Silver do, did like, um, uh, uh, what's that zombie game? Uh, There's a few. D- 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 dead, dead Island? Dead Island. Dead, dead oh, Island. Oh, so that was right it. on the money. So, and then, so, and now... Now these guys, uh, these free radical guys, whoever's mm-hmm. left there, um, they started going by the name Dan Buster Studios. So okay. now that's who sort of free radical is. Dan Buster Studios All right. in the UK still doing their thing. They finished uh, Homefront Revolution and are kind of moving on to like bigger and better things, it seems like. Sure. So now... Now with all that history, sorry, I wanted to just get it out there for the people. No, no, you need that kind of yeah. stuff to see where, because I mean, you know, especially when you go from a company like Rare, which kind of doesn't exist anymore, yeah, but that at least core not, team yeah. is so important to yeah. like the Super Nintendo 64 era. Like they just, they did so much. Yeah. So that team is special. Yeah. So those guys, like, I'm not going to say everybody that from the original team is, right. is at this place but of course. that blood's in there somewhere mm-hmm. you know they still got some of the same guys yeah the influence and, is clearly there yeah and you know they've already talked about how the, they just absolutely love the time splitter series and they're like it's coming back it's happening nice and so i'm just super excited because i feel like what's going to happen now is we're going to get a a uh like a kind of a remaster of the first three i feel like that's going to happen yeah and then we're going to get like a Time Splitters 4 or just a revamp of, of, on the series. And, dude, in this day and age where yeah. you could have just these just zany yeah. characters. As wacky and, as possible. Yeah, just online deathmatch, like 30 people with dual yeah. Tommy guns and rocket I mean, launchers. In, in an age where a game like Fortnite exists, I could see Time Splitters not necessarily doing that. Yeah. But kind of doing that. Like they, they, it doesn't have to be a free to play game. I mean, it, but it, but in the vein of like you can have a imagine a battle royale game with Gingerbread Man, <laughs> Monkey Man, <laughs> Sticks and Bones Man, Skeleton Man, the weird characters kind of that that you were showing me earlier, like a nun, yeah, and the the two two headed boxer guy. Just like, but see, I would I would want like if they did a if they if they did their own little like battle royale kind of mode, sure, mm-hmm. I'd be down to check that out, but. 
I want them to kick it old school. Well, like kind of yeah. like the new Doom did, where it's like we're gonna take the DNA of the original Doom yeah. games and we're just gonna pump that into like, you know, just something just with awesome. all the tech behind it. Just you know, so awesome. <laughs> yeah, so you know, that's what I that's what I wanna see. It's like, yeah, you know, let's take this DNA, let's take just the heart and soul of what Time Splitters is and let's just, you know, make a new game with all of that there. Let's Yeah. I want like just the the most insane team death matches. I want sure. the most insane capture the flag matches. Yeah. Just I want just a big bear man just running <laughs> down the field with a big flag. And monkey man <laughs> and chasing just, him. Just monkey man chasing him with, you know, dual rocket launchers. <laughs> and I mean that game was just like they, they yeah. were so freaking fun. Like yeah, you get yeah. four people in a room together, you put some like AI bots on your teams as well. Yeah. And it's just like I mean, it was just so fun. So like just think about just like a like a twelve v twelve kind of match online. Oh capture God. the flag. Just everybody with the most insane freaking weapons yeah. just mowing each other down. Would you would you uh would it be like each character has a specific loadout? Or would you customize loadouts? No, I think it's just a, it's a customized loadout kind of thing. So okay. it's just like... No, I'm like, asking what you would like. Oh, I would want just... Um, you know, all the characters, they're just characters, you know. It, they, right. I don't think they have any special abilities or anything necessarily. Uh, and then the weapons and stuff, it's all like customizable per match. Like right. What I would want to see is... Um, and a lot of games do this where... You, it's like all custom matches where you have custom match lobbies mm -hmm. where you know people just will host different lobbies of different types of games. Yeah, and that's sort of what I would want for Time Splitters, where it's just like, okay, so in this lobby we're doing nothing but uh, banana guns <laughs> and rocket launchers, and that's it. Nice. Or it's like this is nothing but snipers. Or nice, yeah. And even like the snipers in those games are crazy. You could get yeah. dual snipers, which makes no sense. <laughs> like a dual laser sniper like, with like and and the laser sniper has these like shields on the front as well which yeah, are yeah. like I mean the, the game is just wacky oh I yeah no, absolutely it's weird. love them and I and I just hope that they just bring back that classic just funny British humor yeah. uh, you know kind of main story mode kind of thing you can play it with a buddy and you could just it just gets crazy like I was watching. Uh, so like the first 15 minutes of Time Splitters 2 again the other day I was yeah. watching the campaign I was like is, that game is still great it's like I didn't, I didn't play I was just watching it online <laughs> yeah, but it's no. like, like even like the voice lines and stuff are it's still fun and goofy and mm -hmm. it's like man if they could just bring that back and and just have it looking good sounding good yeah. feeling good it's like dude I can't wait like I what? cannot wait it looks like it might see, happen yeah so, you I know think, that was like a... Well, you think current gen or next gen? It'd probably be next gen. Yeah. I, I could see that coming out, like, fairly early on in, like, a next gen cycle. Because it's like, if they're really starting now... Um, I, I know they have, like, all the assets for the old games and stuff. So, they'll mm -hmm. probably crank out, like a like I said, like a, a mastered version of the first three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of gauge interest with it and stuff. While they're sort of working on a next gen time spurs four or whatever it is so i don't know i could see that coming out on the switch that would be cool that would be really yeah. cool on the switch uh but i yeah I, th I think we'll probably see something like i could see an announcement two years from now and then a release three yeah and three yeah. years you know i could see like 2021 so, or something so so no news on time splitters next year 2019 nothing you gotta yeah. wait till 2020 yeah probably you Ugh. know so long. I know. But, dude, at this point, it's like, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, that's <laughs> even true. Even just I mean, have, even just having a company be like, hey, we exist again. It's it, happening. It's like, we, we're we getting money again. We're getting paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, we got, you know, kind of a new boss, uh, new boss yeah. man at the top. Maybe, you know, Coach Media, or maybe, Coach Media. Maybe they'll do what Nintendo do with uh, the new Metroid Prime, just put the logo up. Right. Everyone's just like, oh, it's <laughs> happening. Yeah, just with uh, the Time Splitters music behind yeah. it, it, just, dude, I, could I happen. hope this happens. It could happen. I hope it does, too, because it's a series that I'd like to revisit yeah. on a more personal level this time. Because I, I only remember that game as a game that I only played with a, a specific friend, because only one friend of mine had that game. Right. And he was. that's the memory I hold of, like, when I was hanging out with my buddy Joel, 
he's that that's the game we played because right. he was a big GameCube guy, so he always got weird GameCube games, and that was one of them because that game is the definition of weird, <laughs> very weird. Yeah, but man, it was it fun. It was. It was. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. Sorry that was it was long. No, 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 no. It's worth it. Yeah, Time I just want has a beloved audience. Yeah, I want I want to just get everybody on the same page sure. with where that company is now. Yeah. I don't want people to be confused like, "Oh, it's Time Splitters, but it's a new studio." Well, it is kind of confusing. It's a little it's a little confusing. Yeah. I, I had to do my research twice to just make sure I had everything correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, following the history of uh Free Radical. Yeah. It's very 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 convoluted. They're alive and kicking somewhere. <laughs> yeah, they're somewhere in the UK. Most mostly at Dan Buster Studios. Yeah, they're they're working hard. Um, so, but uh, but moving on to a, a newer game that's yes. coming out, a game that I, I think we're both pretty excited for. That I feel yeah. like it's not being talked about as much as it should be. No, but it's not. The Sinking City, uh, Frogware, uh, Frogware's newest game, Cthulhu Lovecrafty based. Yeah, we talked about it a couple episodes. Ago. Yeah, we did. It came out with a new cinematic trailer. And by God, <laughs> that trailer is awesome. That, like that trailer is really dope. It is. It's really cool. It's it's like, it's like, uh, death isn't like the final. Like it's very. It's like a revolving door kind of. Like he, he dies, but he comes back. Yeah. So it's like it starts out with him kind of the the main character or whatever his name is. He's passed out on the ground, and he gets up, and you see a tentacle go into the water. Right. And it, it and it leads to this whole thing where you know he's walking through the city, and it gets really weird, and suddenly like the ocean's above him. Yeah. And everything's kind of upside down, and it ends up with him fighting this like squid tentacle monster that he starts shooting, and it drags him into the water, and then all of a sudden you see him at the end of the trailer on the ground again, getting splashed by yeah. the water of the tentacle that drag. It's crazy. Like it's so. It's so wild, but yeah. it's so cool because, like, the whole Lovecrafty thing is all about, like, as much as, like, physically it's scary stuff to look at, it's, like, mentally people go mad in all these oh, stories. Oh, yeah, dude, like, all, all the stuff's just kind of, like, the whole world's just flipped upside down. Yeah, it's just, there's, there's sunken stuff on the cities. Ceiling, there's just, and, yeah. There, there was just a record player with a, it was a conch. Like a conch shell. Uh, conch shell. Or, yeah, uh, conch. 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 Co- Koch Media? Koch Media shell. <laughs> it's a Koch Media shell. Yeah, so it's just like a shell that the uh, that's kind of the uh, the kind of speaker for the uh, for record the player. for the record player. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like just weird things like that. Yeah, and, it's so and, weird and, and creepy, and it's like this dude's totally by himself, and like the, the only other person that you see isn't even a person. You just see a hand near a window that's like all webbed, so it's like yeah. Creature from the Black Lagoon or something. Like it's super weird and yeah. creepy, but it looks so good. Yeah, if, if you haven't watched this trailer, dear listeners, go check this out, because it, it's pretty cool. It's the uh, Gamescom 2018 uh, cinematic trailer. Yeah, like it literally, like it came out earlier today, the day that we're recording this. Yeah. Like it came out earlier, um, and it's developer is Frogware, just Frogware, Game Studios, Frogware. Um, but it's so cool. It's I like I can't recommend it. Enough. It's so awesome. Yeah. And like personally, like I just started reading through the uh, the Necronomicon, which is oh, just yeah? the collected stories of nice. uh, Lovecraft. And um, I've only read a couple so far, but it's all like it's so like twisted, and like yeah, you can yeah. see where the ideas of horror and thriller came from because he was writing it all down in these early stories, and it's like. You know, reading it now where, you know, you can kind of predict what's happening just right. because we're used to that type of storytelling by now. But, like, imagining it, like, when it first came out, like, yeah. that kind of stuff, it's, like, it's crazy to think of, like, just the foundations of horror and thriller right. and monsters are all from this, like, little universe he created. And now we're seeing games being made in that world as well. And it's it's scary. It's legit scary. Like, yeah. You know, it, it, it it's funny. What this... Um, what that trailer kind of reminded me of mm-hmm. uh, is actually a, a lot like Death Stranding. I got a lot of Death Stranding vibes in that. Yeah. And it might be because Death Stranding probably took a little bit from uh, just that, you know, that, that world in general, just kind of the uh, Cthulhu-style uh, stuff, just this weird like kind of world. stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just... Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I see a lot of resemblance with those two games where it's just like, both are, it seems like death is very cyclical. It's, it's not like, yeah. you know. It's like it's not the end. Yeah, it's, it seems like just, you think you're dead, but you're really not, and then you're just back again. Yeah. I mean, you look up, the ocean's on the, you know, is the sky, just yeah, like yeah, weird yeah. kind of, you know, uh, it's, 
uh, like um, uh, Kojima is just like he loves like mind games anyway so it's just yeah, like it's very true yeah so you know you could just see where like these games have just similar ideas in the way of just like let's just mess with people you know yeah. let's have a trailer that kind of makes sense but honestly leaves you with more questions than answers exactly yeah you know both obviously both games are very water themed and, and yeah. kind of oceanic themed mm-hmm. uh, and then yeah, I mean, and they both just have a very kind of cinematic style to them. Yeah, they do. Now, I mean, this game, like, it's super, like, some of these screenshots from the, the trailer, it's such a beautiful, like, cinematic trailer. Yeah, I mean, it is, like, just, like, a pre-rendered kind of kind of trailer. Yeah, but yeah. But it's, it's so, like, very pretty. it's such a cool, like, like environment. Because, yeah. you know, you've got, like, you know, it's, de- it's, it's definitely a horror theme where it's overcast, it's gray, it's kind of dark. There's not a lot of color and vibrance in this world. Right. And then as you look, like, he goes into this uh, Devil Reef motel, and that's where you see the conch record player. Yeah, and, like, yeah. the, there are steps, like, on the ceiling, and it's all, all upside down. It's yeah, like, it it's also a weird reminded mind. me of, a, like, Inception a little bit, too. Yeah, where very just, much. like, things are just, you know, you walk in a door, but then everything's just upside down. Yeah, so it's, it's, just... it's like a dude diving into madness. Yeah. Like, it's more and more becoming just insane. And so, like, I wouldn't be surprised if in this game there is, like, an insanity meter. Whereas, yeah, like, you're down. playing, and you're just, like, as you're playing, you need to, you can't go through it, like, just, ah, guns blazing. Like, you need <laughs> right. to, like, be steady and, like, figure shit, figure shit out first, because <laughs> it's just, it's, it's such a wild and confusing and, like, mind twist, yeah. you know? It's Which like, I, I love that kind of stuff. Like, I, uh, I was always a big fan of the game Eternal Darkness mm-hmm. for the GameCube. Yeah. And just the insanity meter, it would just start doing things to mess with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love just weird twists on games like that. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it, like, doing doing something like that where it's like, let's say your insanity meter is filled and, like, suddenly the controls become backwards. Yeah, You know, exactly. stuff like that is, it's just, like, it, yeah. it makes so much sense because you're just like, oh, now i got to try and think harder about what I'm doing. Yeah. It makes you focus even more. And I it could easily do something with that in the Lovecraftian world because it's all about descent into madness and people going crazy and not yeah. knowing what's real and what's fake and you know maybe this this squid monster isn't real maybe maybe it's all in his head it's all in his head yeah it, it could, it, but it looks it looks really cool um, it, it's so I can't recommend looking at this trailer enough there's no release date on it yet mm-hmm. uh, next year I'm assuming is when it'll come out that, that's my guess yeah I Probably mean it, fall next year something close to yeah it. I mean ex- I would expect more you know, next year, much more, like, in-game, you know, previews and stuff like yeah. that. But either way, like, the first two trailers, like, the first trailer is, uh, like, he's shaving and you see, like, tentacles coming yeah, out of his yeah. skin. And so it's, like, it's getting more and more craziness where now he's, like, dying and then waking up and being like, well, I thought I just died. And it kind of does that twice where there's a point in the trailer where the ocean is on the, it's the sky and yeah. it's falling towards him. And as it consumes him... He's in the water, and you see a, a tentacle grabbing him, and he starts swimming towards Yeah, the, he's trying to swim back up. Yeah, and when he does, he, like, it all of a sudden, like, cuts back to him on land where he's like, <gasps> like yeah, you yeah. know, so it's just like, what's real? And, like, what's just messing yeah. with your head? Like, it's just, it's super cool. And, like, that kind of stuff, I love, like, yeah. diving into that, like, the psyche. Like, you know, that Silent Hill mentality mm-hmm. where it's, you don't know what's real, and you don't know what's fake, and, like, where the monsters are and what's in who's like your ally who's a real human like it's just yeah just yeah. that man it's like movies are one thing but dude when you get like a weird psychological yeah. thriller kind of game yeah it's just like a whole other level where it's just like yo I don't know what's going on yeah it's just like this this is freaky I kind of want to stop playing but I want to keep going yeah, yeah like <laughs> a game like Amnesia yeah it's kind of like that where it's just like what is happening it's just like you're just going crazy like and yeah, it just it looks really awesome, and yeah. I, I can't I can't wait for this game to come out. So, yeah, I'm I re- excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to more information as we get closer. Yeah, totally. So, so I just good to job, Frogware. That. Yeah, Frogware. We are excited still. <laughs> yeah, you you haven't lost me, so yeah. I, I'm so excited. So anyway, so moving on to something that I think is really important, and I think it's it's more controversial. Yeah, go, going from excitement to just. A kind of disappointment. Yeah. You know, it's well, just... We can start off with Amazon because it all ties into Amazon. Yeah. So first off, Amazon seems to be great not liking gamers anymore. Yeah, apparently Amazon hates games and they hate gamers yeah. and they hate gamers' faces. I don't I don't <laughs> understand what the logic is, but first off, they're getting rid of their twenty percent discount for new like pre order games. Yeah, so that's the thing, like if if you're unaware, 
I've been living under a rock. Uh, so if you have Amazon Prime, uh, basically they had a deal with any new release of a video game, you can get 20% off that game, which is awesome because yeah. it's just like sweet. So great way to save a few dollars on a brand new game. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So like right off the bat, like, and I, I try to do that with like Nintendo games mostly because. Uh, they almost never go on sale. <laughs> so we, yeah, we, what is what's a, what is with that? Nintendo, like, they just you know they think their IPs are, are worth the yeah. The price. Like their their eShop, you always get sales on the non Nintendo games. Yeah, but you never get sales on like yeah, Nintendo's weird. Yeah, like Mario Rabbids, that game is never on sale. Isn't they, that, that game's never going to be on sale. They don't want to devalue their IPs. That's, I think that's their whole thing. I it's, guess it's but. a you'll never see like like Mario Kart Eight for we use probably still forty bucks. <laughs> yeah, that, no, you're probably right. It probably it's is. just, uh, yeah, they just they don't mess around with a lot of sales. Yeah, but uh, so anyway, so Amazon is dropping uh, that for some reason, which really sucks. They hate gamers. They, I guess. But then the second half of this story is Twitch, which is Amazon. It's right. Twitch Prime is now dropping the ad-free uh, bonus. Like the, per yeah. the whole point of getting it was so that when you watch your favorite Twitch streamers, which is basically people's now version of TV. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's, Twitch is now, like, it, just the way YouTube surpassed TV, Twitch is doing the same thing, where, like, you can literally log into Twitch, make an account, and you say, uh, I like to watch uh, Overwatch, I like to watch Fortnite, right. I like to watch uh, Ocarina of Time. And so all your streamers that come up for your feed is like, well, maybe you might be interested in this person who yeah, always yeah. plays this game. So it's like you get this perfect on-demand situation where it's like what you want to watch is what you're going to watch. And now, if you get Twitch Prime, you don't ever have to worry about commercials or yeah. ads or Sounds anything. Great. It's awesome. It's like <laughs> pie in the sky dream. It's like amazing. Yeah. And then Twitch is like, you know, that was nice, but <laughs> we're gonna put ads back on even if you have Twitch Prime because money. Because money. And so, a lot of streamers, and I'm, I got the article from Kotaku by uh, Nathan Grayson. Give him credit. Uh, there's an article that he wrote that's saying a lot of streamers are now turning off ads mm -hmm. on the, even further, uh, you know, for everything they do so that people are never bombarded with it because essentially they don't want to lose uh, their subscribers yeah. because the whole point of subscribing to them with Twitch Prime was you can now watch all my content ad free. And now they're scared that, well, you're bringing back ads. We're going to lose our, our followers. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're, you're hindering our business. For your own, <laughs> like, yeah. And I'm sure Twitch is an expensive, you know, setup to run. I'm sure it, it costs a lot of money, right. but still, like, I, I just don't understand it's the logic. It's not the way to go. Yeah, it's the, really not. So, here's just everything in a nutshell. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm <laughs> just break gonna, it down. I'm, I'm just gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk like I know everybody and everything for a yeah. moment here. Please okay? do so. So, if there's one thing. Nowadays, people like, you know, the millennial generation and slightly older than that. Sure. It's, we live in a world now, it's like, we just want to watch the stuff we want to watch. We don't want stupid commercials, yep. stupid ads, yep. and we just, we like convenience. And it's just a thing that we've lived with now mm -hmm. for a while, and we don't want that to change. The minute you start making things complicated, me as a, me in, as a person, myself, I just, I'm like, nope, and I just get rid of it. Like, whatever, yeah. like, it's just, if it's complicated, no. Yeah. I just, just I, yeah, no. I've already got too much complicated things in my life. Yeah, it's, don't, I just, I, I need I don't simplicity. Need it. Yeah, so I, uh, it's just one of those things like Amazon Prime is awesome. It's like, whatever I need, yeah. I could just go in there and just buy it. <laughs> get it <laughs> like, in two days. Yeah, and it's just, sometimes like, one day. Or one day. And it's yeah. just like, I don't have to think about delivery fees. I don't have to worry yeah. about just all this stupid nonsense. It's like, just, here's my stuff. I ordered it. Cool. Is that my place in like a day? They even yeah. just they take a picture and it's just like, yo, your stuff was. We delivered. just left it here. There you go. Yeah, and it's just like, oh man, that's easy. Yeah. Done. I barely go out and buy things anymore unless it's groceries. I, yeah. I don't do like the Amazon Fresh or whatever that is. But yeah, that's a whole other subscription. Yeah, and it's like most of the time, even if it's a couple dollars more on Amazon, I'll just go through Amazon because it's like if I go to Target.com yeah. or Walmart.com. None of them got their, their stuff together yet, you know? Yeah, they're just like, oh, it's still, you know, it's going to take you... F uh, the worst one is GameStop, Jesus. He's like, <laughs> yeah, it's going to take, you know, uh, five to seven business days to get this yeah. thing to you. Uh, we're also going to charge you like $15 for the Delivery shipping. Delivery It's just like, what are you talking the, about? Just, yeah. it's like, are, you, are you out of your mind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so it's just stuff like that. And then, 
and then just commercials. And nobody wants commercials in anything. Oh my god! It's, it's the worst thing. Like ever. in a world where we live in the Netflix world and Hulu, it's like I we pay extra so that we don't have to be bombarded with just hey soda, hey uh, insurance. Yeah. Hey, like I don't. I don't no, care. I don't need any of that <laughs> in my life. I don't want it. I will never buy any of your stuff. Go away. Yeah. Just, it's a, do you know like why Netflix? It's just freaking enormous. It's because they make things so easy. Yeah. They're just and Amazon to a point too, until all this complicated stuff. But yeah. It's like Netflix like, yo, you want a TV show? Here it is, the whole season, day one. Just at once. Just it's done, you know, and give us your eight bucks a month. And it's like, cool, done. Yeah, easy. Great. Easy peasy. <laughs> I never have to think of another moment about Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't come into my life any more than you have to. Yeah. Except when you show me a new thing on Netflix. That's it. Yeah, and that's it. It's like I'm just watching the things I want. There's no ads. Yep. I'm just I we're cutting out the middleman. You know, there's Pretty no much. commercials. Pretty much. It's just I give you money directly and you give me the thing I want to watch. Yeah. And that's that's just the end of the story. That's really all it should be. No more, no less. We're not friends. Yeah. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> so so Amazon, they have made things very convoluted very complicated for no reason yeah so with the amazon Prime, this all kind of is like a, just a hot take by the way it kind of is <laughs> but i mean it's it's also like it's also not because it's just I, I don't think we're in the minority here yeah i think a lot of people are thinking the same thing yeah so so to explain what amazon's doing now uh i think at the end of august is when the 20 percent thing ends uh, yeah if, if i remember correctly yeah and then now, the twitch thing is uh, i think september 14th something like that gotcha. it's mid-september yeah so so for Prime now, what's going to happen, it's, it's so stupid. So hey, oh God. they're like, okay, uh, <laughs> this is in quotes too. Uh, so for select titles, <laughs> is oh, yeah. the way they put it, quote, quotes, for select titles, uh, you will get a, a $10 uh, like, like gift voucher, card. Like voucher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it was like a, like a $10 like, it's so dumb. like Amazon voucher. And then... You will get that somewhere between when you buy the game and 35 days later, yeah. in your email. <laughs> yeah. And then, once it arrives in your email, then you only got 60 days to use it. And it's yeah. Just, it's like, it's, dude, you just you made such a simple thing where it's just like, I like that game, I'm gonna buy that game. Yeah. Oh, cool. The 20% off thing is just automatically added. Awesome. Like no harm no foul. Done. Click. It's at my place day one. Yeah. End of Easy conversation. Peasy. Like, just end of transaction. I yeah. don't have to think about it ever again. Yeah. I don't care what you're doing, Amazon. Just wake up don't one morning and there's my box. Like, oh, yeah. perfect. Life and is good. Just, life's easy. But yeah. now it's just like, okay, I bought a game. All right, so when am I getting this voucher? Uh, I kind of want to buy this other game, but maybe I have to wait two weeks because of this stupid voucher I'm waiting yeah. on. Okay, I got it. Wait, did I get it? Hang on a second. <laughs> Check and then email. maybe you forget about it because it's now been a month. And it's like, yeah. oh, wait, I had that thing, didn't I? Yeah. Let me go check my uh, email. Oh, wait, it's been 65 days. I can't use it anymore. It's, it's just it's stupid. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's like, why can't you just apply that voucher to the purchase that I'm making right now? It's yeah. like, why, why do you have to? I don't want to get it later and forget I have it and yeah. then just never use it. Like, it's just... I don't have to keep a reminder for myself, oh, wait, I have a coupon I need to use. Because I don't have it physically. I can't hang it on my fridge. <laughs> like, all right, here's my physical coupon for my $10 off. It's like it's in my email somewhere yeah. in that clutter and just need to find it. And then so maybe in a couple weeks when a new game is announced or released, I'm going to be like, oh, I can get it. Now let me go find my coupon for it. Yeah. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> like, why can't I just... We need to keep... move past coupons. Yeah, it's like just apply it immediately. <laughs> and that way you don't have to worry about me... Using yeah. it in the future, and you don't have to worry about giving me something in the future. Like just it's like apply Am it instantly. Amazon has always been this company that, that seems like they pride themselves on convenience, and this is yeah, why really. they've been such a big hit. They just make things easy, and yeah. this is not easy. Yeah, <laughs> it's no. Just, and I know at the end of the day, it's such a first world problem, but man, it's just stupid. It is, but it's also like, like I like I understand it's a first world problem, and believe me, there are much bigger things in life to worry about. But it's also like, look. We live in the day and age that we live in. Yeah. Everyone is 100% exposed to this convenience. So I don't want to hear, like, well, you don't need... <laughs> yeah, but everyone's used to it by yeah. now. So why change it? Why get rid of yeah. it? And the thing is, it's like, dude, if you're not going to do it, somebody else is going to take your place. You know, it's like Netflix yeah. is doing so well, and even, like, Hulu and Amazon Prime, uh, their video component, are doing well because 
cable's stupid and complicated. Everybody's oh cutting the cord yeah. because it's stupid. Yeah, and nobody has a cable yeah. box. So it's a ca cable's going under eventually, yeah. and it's because you got these these young you know the, you know young people, young blood. They they come up as like here's a new idea. It's fresh. It's easy. It's convenient. It's easy and it's and smart. It's, yeah, and so then it's just everybody has Netflix because it's easy. Yeah, it's <laughs> and, like you have internet, well then you got TV. Yeah. Super easy. So it's, Super like, it's kind of the same thing with like Amazon. You know why the malls are going under? Because Amazon just makes things easy. Yeah, exactly. I don't need to go to a stupid mall. Who wants to go to the mall? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with teenagers. They're yeah. the worst. <laughs> it's awful. I yeah. hate those places. So it's just like, Amazon's so easy, but now they're just, they're slowly making things complicated. And yeah. It's like, uh, and it's somebody else is going to come along. It it's just seems make things like easy. it's for an extra buck. And like, I don't yep. know. Like, I, I'm not saying, look, sure, I'm, I'm sure Twitch and Amazon's a very expensive operation. I'm sure it is. Yeah. But I just, uh, to me, it just, uh, I don't see, I didn't see how you guys you were doing this bad before. <laughs> you seem yeah. to be doing pretty well. And now you're just going to make, like, I don't know. Right? Like, I don't know the just, books, but it just seems like it's unnecessary. Yeah, it's, it's sort of And a, you're losing customers that way. Yeah. Right? And, you, and for Twitch subscribers, you're really screwing over the streamers because their subscribers are like, well, I don't want Twitch Prime anymore. Yeah. So I'm not gonna... Like, I've already seen some people that have, uh, they've started moving over to Mixer. Just because yeah, it's I've heard about like, that. Uh, it, it, it's apparently, I haven't, I haven't really messed with it too much outside of talking to somebody at E3 last year. Mm -hmm. uh, you were there. Uh they had the little RV car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things that apparently it's just, it's a really solid platform. It's easy to use, all that stuff. And they just, yeah. you know, it's just simple. And so I, I feel like a lot of people are just going to jump ship and, and go to Mixer. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And I mean, like, in, in the day we live in now with the, the people who create content online who are like 100% reliant on their audience. Right. Like, you know, a lot of, like a lot of, uh, streamers and like creators, content creators on YouTube and stuff that I follow, they always say like, look, you're our boss. You're the ones funding this. You're the ones that are, uh, are in charge. So mm -hmm. you tell us what you want us to make and we'll do it because you're the ones paying us. So it's like, it, it, I would so much rather have creators that are, you know, show me your Patreon. Yeah. Show me just something I can directly donate to you yeah. and just good, here, take it. And that way we can avoid ads we can avoid outside companies. It's right. just you and me, one on one. Yeah, and that's it's, what like you know. I uh, I think the world's just kind of moving that way, where it's just yeah, like yeah. you know, cut out the middleman. Uh, luckily, there's a way to like donate on on Twitch. And, yeah, you can like, YouTube. Live yeah, YouTube and all gaming and stuff. Yeah, you like, can donate directly, which is awesome. Like, yeah, I, I would much rather like. By the way, patreoncom slash multiplayer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> please. Like I'm just, but no, like I'm not trying to force it. But but honestly, like I would much rather have that than all right. Subscribe, uh, join uh, YouTube Red or, or, or Twitch Prime, yeah. pay them so that you can subscribe to me without ads, and that way I'll get a little bit paid. Just just forget all that. I'd yeah. rather just one-on-one, -on -one, you and me. Just yeah. post your content, I'll donate to you directly, everyone's good. Yeah, everyone's I mean, it's, happy. It's <laughs> do it. I mean, it's just get out the middleman, just, you know, just, yeah. just, hey, if you like what I do, support me. Yeah. If I like what you do, I'll, I'll I'm going to support you. you. It's, it's like, like it's I have... A supporting community. Yeah, it's like I have... The art, you know, several artists on Patreon, uh, like my boy DJ Cutman, yeah. that I support, and uh, it's because they they do awesome work, and it's like yeah, you and know, you wanna, want them to continue to do yeah. their work because I like it. It's like it's like yeah, let me let me help you pay your bills so you don't have to go get a job as like a waiter. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and honestly, like I don't even think about that. Right. All, all I think of is like you do a good job. I will support you so that you can continue doing what you do. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be any more than that. Yeah, you know, like it's it's. <laughs> Yeah, it just, yeah. I don't know, just Twitch and Amazon just seem they to be just, like, they just seem to be getting greedy. Yeah. And again, I don't know the books. I don't know how expensive it is for them. I'm sure it's an expensive operation, but still. Dude, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, simple, there's just, other ways to do this. I, I can't remember his name, but the guy that owns Amazon. <laughs> like Mr. The, Amazon. Frank Amazon himself. Yeah. Like, he, that the dude's legit a billionaire. Oh, he, easy. He's not sweating for money. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> I think they'll be fine. Yeah. If they don't do the ads. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so again, like lots of again, all, lots of streamers are just turning off ads yeah. completely because they're just like, look, you guys, you guys are the most important thing because I can't do what I do without you. So I'm gonna turn off ads. If you want to support me, directly donate mm -hmm. or you know here's my Patreon. That's the best way that you know I can make money without ads getting involved and you guys can. It's like a, a seamless yep. you know transaction. It's a cyclical thing like death. 
in the sinking and, city. Yep, just exactly right. <laughs> it all comes back together. Um, but anyway, that was my spiel on Amazon yeah. Twitch. Hot takes. Hot takes. <laughs> all right, so we're getting close to the end of it. So yes. we got a little bit of time for some history. Let's do it. So video game I, store for you. Good, good theme song. Mm, 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 so here's the deal. This is a dual release, if you will. Uh, because this game that came out in August 14th, 1989. Ooh, 89. Okay. So this is a dual release. with It's a launch game for a particular system. Okay. I won't give you any details. But we're talking 1989. You know, we just saw Batman. Tim Burton's Batman just came out June 23rd, 1989. So everyone's on Batman fever. And everyone's like, oh my god, arcades. They're yeah. so cool. Now we're getting home consoles with the arcade games. Oh my god, it's amazing. So this game came out as a launch game for a particular console, particular system. Now, for... 89, was this, I think 89 was, uh, was that Game Boy? Was that 89? Uh, I don't know. But that so should give you a hint, about... this isn't a Game Boy game. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so 89 launch game. 89. Um, 1989. Because it's like, NES came out in 84. Five for the U.S. Game Boy was 1989, by the way. It was. Yep. Nice. Um, so along the lines then, of that. And then Super Nintendo was 91, I think. I think um, 90. Maybe. Or maybe 91. I think, I think it's 91. It could be. So, so what system came out 89? So I think Genesis was... I think it was around there. Am I right, though? Genesis That's Genesis. Game? Okay. So cool. we're talking Genesis. Okay. Genesis was released... A lot of attitude going on. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yeah. The best ad campaign ever. So we've got the Sega Mega Drive, also is what it's called, right. a.k.a. Uh, this is a launch game okay. for the Sega Genesis, Shaq a.k.a. Shaq Fu. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I wish. No. Um, so, launch game for the Sega. You know, think about Sega's marketing. Their whole thing was like, we're not babies like Nintendo. <laughs> Look at this game. Look how badass it is. You just, You just super cool and like just violence yeah. and just fighting and just uh, manly I'm testosterone go with all of that i'm gonna say mortal kombat <sighs> no darn not mortal kombat <laughs> no we're talking we're not remember. we're not well, talking no, about sweaty that, uh, bloody dudes we're talking about men manly men manly men i'll give you a, i'll give you a big Ooh, old hint. actually no you know i think i i think that's a pretty good guess so golden axe no. arcade and genesis nope, no nope nope completely wrong <sighs> off off just just totally wrong get Shoot. out <laughs> no, I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> Power up. Oh God. Power up. <laughs> oh no. You power up, you lose your shirt, which is manly. <laughs> Not homoerotic at all. It's just manly. Oh. Uh... And then you become a wolf man, or a bear man, or a dragon man. Oh shoot! So what, what game is that? Uh. Uh oh. Think about it. You know the game. It's, I do? It's, it's, of have course I you played do. it? I'm sure you have. Everyone's played this game. If you haven't, you need to because it's a classic. You could beat this game in literally less than an hour. Oh, my God. Someone... You, could, you could speed run this game to get better points. You know, it's, it's, it's super silly. Hmm. Power up. Come on, that's literally, <laughs> that just gives it away. That's all he says in the game. All your characters. I, I don't know if I played it. You become, People are yelling at me. You become a wolf man. I know, right? You I, become a saying. bear man. You become a dragon man. All these names I for know. these mythical creatures. Another name are... There was a Harry Potter movie that was released with the word in it. Fantastic. Beast? Beast. Okay. There's, there's half Beast of it. Wars. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Close. No. Uh, beast. Oh, shoot. Uh, something Beast. Something Beast. Oh, God. Another word for changing is... Uh, 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 uh. Altered Beast. Oh, my God. Altered Beast. Power <laughs> up. You know, you play yeah, as... Yeah, no, I, uh, that's, that's a game I... Um, like, I know the name, but it's, it was a game I never ended up... Oh, I, my like, God, you played. never played Altered Beast? Nah. Oh, yeah, dude, never... it is so manly. You start <laughs> out as so this... Man. You're this, this dude... I think you're like the son of Zeus or something, or yeah, you're, yeah. you're related to Zeus somehow, but you're just this manly man who when he powers up, he, his shirt rips off, <laughs> and then when he powers up again, he becomes a wolf man in the first level, and then 
The next level becomes like a bear. Right. Another no level becomes a dragon. Sounds dope. It's awesome. Uh, it's, so was that Genesis and Arcade? Uh, it was a port. It was an arcade game, but it was ported to the Genesis as a launch title. Gotcha. For for Sega. But because you're saying dual release, like it came out. It came with the Sega Genesis. Like Sega Genesis was launched with this game. Oh, it was like a pack-in yeah. game? Yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So like this this game was like, because their whole strategy was like, look, we're... Look at this game. Like you play, you're destroying monsters. It's yeah, no yeah. Mario. It's no little <laughs> kid thing. You're just yeah. a scary beast, man. So, yeah, Altered Beast for Sega Genesis. So the Genesis came out in August. I've got August fourteenth, nineteen eighty nine, for North America. Wow. Japan August was o- October 29th, nineteen eighty eight. Interesting. So Korea was August nineteen ninety. I can keep going down the list. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil September first. Yeah, I figured. Um, <laughs> See, like, my, my knowledge on, on Sega's, obviously, it's a little less than the Nintendo side of things. So sure. it's like, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know it came out in August. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, man. The Sega Genesis. It was a... So what a weird month for a console to release. It is, it is. So but, you, I mean, it was a different time. Yeah. You know, but, it, was, it was such a different know, at, time back then. At the then. time, you would think, like, yo, let's, let's come out around Christmas time. We'll be in, like, the Sears catalog, all yeah. that kind of stuff. You know, it's just... It just seems like a weird month for a system. A different era, I guess. Just I guess a totally so. different era. But I so. so yeah, Sega Genesis, cool. Altered Beast, good game. You should play it. It's a classic. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so silly. You could beat it in about yeah. probably a half hour if you're really good. I bet it's on one of those the Sega Collect- collection. Yeah, things. I think it is. Yeah. It definitely is. It, it's definitely on the um, Sega did like a master collection for like Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's definitely on there. Because, I mean, that was a flagship title for Sega. Yeah. I mean, because that was their response to, like, Mario and, and you know, big, Nintendo. Big manly dudes. Big hulking manly men <laughs> with their shirts rip off, biting monsters, and, you know, it was fun. Manly things. Yeah. Nice. Power up. <laughs> what he says in the game. It's great. Good to know. Yeah. So, that is our show. That's that it. That's it. We did it. Once again. We survived. Nice. Now, I will say, next week, I don't know... If we're going to shoot oh, an episode. Right. We might. We might not. Yeah. Uh, my schedule's pretty packed uh, for recording next week. So if we do, we will be just... It'll just squeak by. Like, yeah. Yeah. It'll... Uh, but you might not see us next week, which is unfortunate because we'll, I'm sure we'll have some games come stuff yeah. to talk oh, about. But timing, we, will, we will see. Yeah. But thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, be sure to check us out. All over the place, uh, you know, YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, all those podcast services. Yeah. It's a good time. Be sure to check out our Patreon at patreoncom slash multiplayer. We get those a clam or two Ooh, a month. A clam. You can support us. A conch. Uh, you know, all that fun stuff uh, as we were talking about uh, earlier. You, know, you can. You can throw us a conch. A, a conch media. A conch <laughs> shell. Record player. And watch that uh, trailer. It's really good. You know, you'll get some some bonus episodes every other Friday, and it is a fun time. I don't know what we're going to talk about. For this I just point. told you, man. Top 10 unreleased games. Let's do it. Should That's do a good it. one. That's that a really is. good one. Um, and then be sure to uh, check us out online at uh, you know Twitter and Instagram and those things. So Someone just got trying, an Instagram. Yeah, you know, trying to get with the times with the kids. Yeah. You know, trying, trying to do more be a millennial, with the man. pages. I'm, I'm getting with it. So uh, you can follow us at Go GoMultiplayer uh, on Instagram and Twitter. And then you can follow me personally at Zach Matt Scannis on Instagram and Twitter as well. Where can we find you? I'm at jumpman underscore Ortiz on both Instagram and Twitter. Sweet. Good stuff. And then uh, a big old shout out to our boy DJ Cutman for the sweet intro and outro music. And be yeah. sure to check out his Patreon too. I think it's just patreon.com slash DJ Cutman. Yeah. Great stuff you can, he has, uh, man. Yeah. yeah it's good. He's got some good music. It's good music. Good dude. We dig him. Yeah. For sure. Love that guy. That's the show. So. All done. We did it once again. So hopefully we will see you next week. We will see, but if not, we'll see you the following week, and we will be coming at you with some more fun video game action. So keep on grinding. We'll see you at the respawn. Later. Yo, yo, yo. We want to give a big old fantastical thank you to Jaden Lawrence, Arturo Madeira, William Euchre, and Merchant Dan Crow Patariu. If you want to receive shout outs like these beautiful, sexy people, be sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash multiplayer. See you next time, players. We love ya!